Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're gonna deliver our load to Fort Dodge. We're gonna search for some loads and not have very good luck. And finally, we're gonna book a uh, power only load uh, type of trailer that I've never hauled before. So stay tuned for that. All right, good morning. We are coming in here to um, Georgia Pacific, Pacific uh, where we delivered yesterday. Delivering the same exact stuff to the same exact place. Should be easy peasy. I gotta get parked in here at this stop sign. And then I just gotta go inside and check in and let them know I'm coming to the back. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, it should be pretty easy. I've done this before. And uh, you know, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you in a second. All right, got checked in. Um, did find out there is one truck ahead of me back there, which is, I mean, obviously it's fine. Uh, that means I can just take my time and I, I can uh, just poke around here. Go nice and slow. Oh. Make sure I stop well at all these stop signs. I don't want to get in trouble. Looked like yesterday when we were here that uh, the, the flatbed guys pull in here and uh, they get their trailer backed into these bays. They get loaded in there and the guys in there actually tarped it tarp before them which uh, that sort of sounds awesome <laughs> so we got to come back in here to the back of the building um, not exactly sure where I want to wait I think I'm gonna pull past and just chill until they pull out. Hopefully they've been in here for a while and already, you know, have started getting unloaded and everything. All right, pull around this corner. You guys saw this yesterday, they come from the other direction. Hey, you actually can see today. That's so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pull past and just, just chill out of the way on the left side up here. Oh, this guy gets on the to chill on the side if if it wasn't so rutted up but it is what it is yeah we're gonna chill right here we're not in the way I doubt anybody comes back here the only thing that came through here was that pick truck and he just dumped right over there obviously this is his stuff that he's dumped um see behind me very well. I can't see that truck. That's sort of annoying. I may keep pulling forward here. Do that. A little bit farther. Just want to be able to see the truck behind me. He is locked in. Now you can see him too. He's back there. And uh, I think I may now decide whether I'm gonna I'm gonna open my doors early. Or just leave it. But I won't let you guys go. I got a little bit of waiting here to do. And I'll see you in a minute once uh, we start getting backed in. Alright. 
don't know if you could see that far or not, but uh, they got the green light. So that means I get to go back in there soon. I am so excited that this whole area isn't covered with fog this time. That's really exciting. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm really excited. It's the simple things, right? I enjoy being able to see the building that I'm backing, you know, into. Against, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully this guy respects me and pulls out and then pulls to the side before he closes his doors. We're going to find out here. You're going you're gonna to find out real time. Whether or not this guy respects other drivers. Here we go. He's pulling out. What is he going to do? What is he going to... He's pulling out fast. I think he's going to be a good boy. Good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's so... Respect, boy. Respect. That's good. Flashers on. We're gonna get ourselves backed into that door also. I did not take you with me yesterday when I backed in because like I said, I couldn't see a blessed thing. Today, I can see everything and it's wonderful. be able to make it, make it back in there on the first try. That's what we're going for. We'll get down a little bit closer and then we'll get out and we'll get our doors opened. story is nice because you get to um, sort of roll down into it instead of going up to it. I hate when you have to go up to it. it makes it so much more difficult. Okay. Some more gypsum. You had to stare at my hand for a second there. It is hard. Get these doors open. With one hand. Alrighty. Get back in. Uh, Norseman. I've found loads for that company before. still has a marking so I'm just trying to guess based on the padding where exactly I need to be make 
sure we're all the way in. Should be. Pop these. Okay, we're in the dock. I went in, and apparently I wasn't far enough into the door. So, I don't know what happened, why it didn't lock in the first try, but <clears throat> we are going to uh, get unloaded here. It shouldn't take him very long. I think he's just going to get right at it. He locked me right in. I am going to try to see if I can find any more loads here. I may email this broker and see if um, there are more of these. So it sounded like there might be, but what is this? Well, that's helpful. I'm going to have to call them that. Although it's really, really short, so I don't know that it's going to be worth my time to go down there. No, oh, I don't see anything going on that I want to do. I need something short. What is this good one to show up? Still too cheap. Not worth time. Well. Gotta keep looking. Let's go over here on Truck Smarter. One of these days I'll go over the apps I use to find loads. Well, nothing for today. I might do that for tomorrow, but it's not looking so great. At least for up in this area. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's change it to one more broad. Oh, that's fine. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go. There we are. Broader search here. Let's see what's going on a little wider in the state. Is this Nashua to Waterloo? Full load. I don't know where Nashua is. <laughs> North of there? Okay. Empty plastic bottles. Interesting. I might need to, need to call on that one. seeing anything that I really like. <sighs> yeah, no. No, we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll search again. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Well, it is multiple hours later and um, it's noon right now. I'm, up, I don't know, 20 minutes from my house right now. Um, we got unloaded. I didn't record coming out of there because I didn't know where I was going. I ended up going to a gas station, uh, truck stop, I don't know, like a minute or two from there. And I sat there until 10.45, I believe, had breakfast and what have you, and, and looked for loads. And I did not have a lot of success finding drive-in loads. I, I do search power-only loads, too, um, often. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, so I'm almost back to the house and I'm gonna drop my trailer. And I'm headed back over to Story City, to the EBY, EB, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I'm picking up a, a grain trailer out of Story City and I'm taking it over to Platteville, Wisconsin tomorrow. So I'll get that, go pick it up today and then uh, I should be able to deliver it tomorrow morning pretty early. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. Um, I have the opportunity to do this power only program that I was telling you about. Um, I, I guess I didn't fully tell you about it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it because because it, uh, 
it would mean that I'm running in the, at night, almost, almost night shift. And I'm not positive I want to do that. So right now we're just dinking around with what we got got going. Um, we're gonna take this up to, to Platteville and then uh, there are a number of, uh, I'm assuming there are Amazon trailers that are seven to 10 day loadout trailers. So I might do that. I might just grab one of those from up in that area and uh, get a load coming back. And um, unless I can find something power only, uh, better than that. But okay, we're gonna go ahead and get this out, get back to the house, get this trailer dropped, and head to Story City. Okay, we made it here to EBY. EB, pick up a grain trailer here. Got it behind me. I am not gonna go outside and show you this. You're gonna have to take my word for it. We'll see it some more tomorrow. It is way too windy right now. It is. Man, the wind is strong. Yeah, this is fun. You know, I've wanted to pull hop bottom. I know it doesn't make a lot of money, but I've wanted to, and I guess this is a trial. I wish I could. I wish, I wish this was a used trailer and I can use it as a loadout trailer. That would be really fun. I'd enjoy that because I get a, a load or two to try it out. But um, just wanted to give you guys an update here. Um, we're just gonna get on back to the house and uh, uh, get on back to the house, park it, and then we'll leave thing first thing in the morning and, and uh, get this pulled to Platteville, Wisconsin. We'll see you down the road. Well, we're gonna conclude this video right now. Um, today was an interesting day. Uh, a little bit of a recap here while we while I got you. It won't take very long. Um, delivered our load this morning in Fort Dodge. Sat there at a truck stop for a couple hours. Wasn't finding any loads out of Fort Dodge or anywhere near there. Uh, ended up booking this load that I'm on now, which is a power only. Uh, it's a brand new uh, grain hopper trailer. And we're gonna take this tomorrow to Plattsville, Wisconsin. So a little bit of a, a different scenario there. We'll take you along for the ride tomorrow. Um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.